Yeah, Jimmy says job's done. We ice picked that motherfucker Johnny and dumped his shit in the fucking zoo. He's gone. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I will. Holy crap, dude. I just woke up in the cul-de-sac. What the hell's going on here? Who's he? What is that? Get it away. Yeah, that has something to do with it. Get rid of it. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine now. Everything's fine. Your bathroom's really clean. I like that. Oh, uh, it's because of all that flooding. Oh, did the water get in there and wipe all that pubic hair off? The waters know. from the rivers here are just pristine. Swirl. Whatever paper they're sending, that's that's misinformation. It's swirling like a black hole. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's on the other side? You know what's on the other side? A bunch of lies. A bunch of lies in the dirt in my bathroom floor. There's a bridge. It goes over my home. There's a bridge. It and goes under, under the my water. Home. The bridge is underwater, so my it's heart. over your home. My heart is under my lard. It's over there. Look at the thing. You remember yeah. that guy? Are you still badgering him at work? Yeah, I've got, well, I've got some complaints from um, that guy no from he I went a step further he went to hr that's like me running into you in the street and you've got a pornographic magazine and i'm forced to see it and i just go straight to a cop and i'm like this guy is peddling pornography on the street and without you know there's there's a process you were badgering him huh yeah Flail. Slapping his ego like a little badger tail, just. Well, remember he had that rat tail, and you were just you were I calling to... him Mousy. I, well, yeah, Mousy, Mousy, bigger than a house. And I tried to cut his rat tail off with that pair of garden shears that were in the office always. Right, uh, yeah, really. You, you chased him around with that with that Hoover. And yeah. it wasn't even a spendy one. No, it was a cheap one. There was a there was a hula hoop that hung in the on the garage wall too that I I could never figure that. You would out. you would do it and you do it like right next to him. You would get as close as you can. But without touching and, him. Without yeah, and he would just sit there. He'd and sit there and act he tried to ignore it. He was trying to get under my skin. He was I, pretty good at it, but ignoring it. But obviously, he he went to HR, huh? Yeah. Where is that hula hoop? I used to. I like the design on that hula hoop. You can't find. It. Well, you can't find that design that, anymore. Well, that one had had the balls in it too, so you could hear. You know, so that as you were hooping, you could hear the oh, balls. Oh, noise! Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, yeah, a lot of them. Now you can't even. I, that that was a that was a vintage hula hoop. I don't even. Right. Um, I had a note. To, you can't to use can you, that. It can helped you even me focus. Them? Helped me focus. I was more productive. And it had to be that one because that noise it would drown out the sound and it would also well, it would the, get my circadian rhythm. Yeah. It hit it right on num right on the dot right on the nose button. Alice always with that god awful shrieking sneeze. Oh. Yeah, I should. I'm. I think I'll end up at HR. Well, it's for like, that's what gets me about her is her cauliflower ear. <laughs> was she? I, I mean, was she a fighter? Yeah. I mean, what? I, what in the heck? I, I told her, you know, I, I, I couldn't take it one day, and I just had. To, I tried to be nice about it, but I said, you know, they have procedures, for, you know, for that kind of thing. Was she bitten by a horse? Uh, or what? I mean, what? She was horse collared. Illegally, and uh, yeah, there's rules for that now. 
Yeah, well, it was a. This un- must have been a pre unfortunate accident, but well, it was pre rule. And I was oh. I was badgering her about it, <clears throat> and just she, like a little badger tail, just badger. Just I touched it, even though she told me not to. <laughs> I had to sneak. Up, you know, I asked her initially. I was polite. She said no. So then I had to be conniving. And I touched it. It's really hard. It's harder than you would even imagine. Jerry, I heard your femur is as solid as concrete, if you can believe that. The red it's stronger there. than it's ever been. not advised to use like a typical bar of hand soap or anything like that. I've abandoned bar soap. I can remember a bar of soap. Troublesome, especially if you have a history of of skin uh, disorders like I do. People that are ravaged by various degenerative skin diseases, soap and soap residue, you know, that you leave on your body when you're showering all over your body, dry out the skin, burn, cry, and, you know, traumatic bathing experiences and to keep the pores open and to keep things going as normal. I've taken it a step further. You, you can use used motor oil or you can use new motor oil diluted to the right uh, viscosity keeps the pores open and keeps you hygienic. <laughs> it's action packed. But he pulls the red out. I pull the red out. The thing about that line is, it made my heart flutter. My family still brings that scene up. It reminds me of one of the greatest action sequences ever in the history of film. The depths of his acting left me with a Hiroshima. I laughed. I laughed. (laughs) Every time I think about that scene, I'm moved. (sighs) Tony Olivia, you burnt the guy's hard part, guy. You burnt Doug funny. Can of fly bodies. Terrence, no. I love that moment. You ever been near a wildfire? <coughs> I've seen it on the news. Oh, they, okay. You know, they go next to those tragedies and natural disasters. You've never been, like, in your own, personally near one? Because that's something <coughs> that's, no, that's it's, on my list. Yeah, well, it would be an adrenaline rush for sure. Freaks the heck out of me. Yeah. well, Because, I mean, I don't. Fire, man. Fire and water always win. Always win. It's true. It's true. You know, fire jumps Jumps Streams. over water sometimes. Jumps. You yeah. think water is the answer. So I don't know, man. You're, you know, I'll parachute and I'll bungee jump and all that stuff. But no, 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 no. I'm not getting my rocks off standing next to wildfire. I mean, I can just imagine. I mean, you, the wind shifts just right and you're on fire like that guy from that classic photo that was napalmed. And nope, e- nope, nope. You I want to be like at that road where they're like, no, turn back. You can't go on. There's a fire. And you're going to go. You got to go back. Well, mm-hmm. I, yeah. You're and gonna then go I'm going to ignore him. And then they're not going to do anything because. Well, yeah, because they, they don't, don't want to they they go on a fire. It's like, go at your own risk. Is this kind of like if you like. If it's it a were, fantasy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a real gonna... fantasy of mine. I know. And I want to I want to make it more than a fantasy. I want to make it reality. I want to take people with me. Call the rush of the rush of putting other people's lives at risk is what gets me too. 
Well, you go to California because you were in San Bernardino. That time you just uh, woke up, but with the, the Dan pass. But. I had my my na- my nerves were singed. Mm-hmm. I woke up with a cold. Well, all that all that wildfire smoke in the air. Yeah, you're gonna wake up with something. I mean, you had the the air quality is terrible. I mean, it's the you want to give there's a ratio, and it was a bad one. Well, um, they want to say stuff about pollutive. You know, you know, Cleveland's got the most polluted. Blah 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 blah. Bring blah. your kid to work day. Yeah. Bring your kid to work day. They Cal- said California. Fuck you. California. Down in Kokomo, and the. Was that bad quality air? Here's some jeans. It looks cute on your two-year-old. Bring your kid to work day. I don't care how smoky the air is. God, when you were in that third world country and you had that, well, you ran that jewelry. There's a lot of nice mothers in that freaking country. Well, you, but didn't you own? Yeah. Well, I had that real estate there. Yeah. yeah. Real, yeah but I thought you had a, like a, a few wells in. Jewelry makers. There was that one that had he actually kind of had jewelry for he was so arthritic and riddled. Was, he, I think. He, oh, you mean you mean the uh, the janitor? Yeah, he, he had a he had his vacuum, and uh, he didn't actually get a whole lot done because of his you know fixed fingers. Canned him. He's like a mannequin. It was funny until we hated it to death. it's like a stupid twisted bottle and like i see the see danny oh my gosh that's a sick soup you make (laughs) i'm one of those guys i'll make a soup and i won't put a vegetable in it like what do you use as a base oh Vegetable. Or or I'll, beef, I'll soak my socks before I put a celery stick in my soup. Yeah. What a bunch of I, crap. I like celery. What do you think they made when they had the slanted foreheads? They didn't have all that fancy stuff. They just threw a turnip and some water and some roots. dirt. Probably boiled the rock because the rock would have some sort of flavor. <laughs> they energy. kill their neighbor. I like soup too. A good ham bone and. Throw that in with that. Sometimes I just take that freaking bone. You just gnaw on it and you just you <laughs> try to break it and get the marrow out. You know, yeah, I've heard people gotta, be- I gotta do go about it differently now that they took all my teeth. He blacked <laughs> out in pain. <laughs> he blacked out in pain. 